Hi everyone. So today I am going to do this video um, on my feelings about Cecil the Lion. Now I heard the story. Obviously it went viral. Everybody knows about Cecil the Lion. Now if you don't, I'll just recap a little bit. This man from the U.S., he's a dentist. His name is Walter Palmer. Thought it would be fun to go to Zimbabwe. He hired two men and he paid $50,000 to kill a lion. Now, he claims he had no idea that this lion was protected. I fail to believe that. Now, Theo Brohurst and Honest Nodov, um, I might pronounce it wrong, they were the two men that helped him. They are facing 15 years in jail in Zimbabwe, which I'm happy that they're getting punished. But the real culprit, the main man, is back in the U.S., and, you know, Walter Palmer should be getting 15 years in Zimbabwe prison. He should. I really, I don't know what his punishment is. I have no idea. But I hope it's not just a little fine and a slap on the wrist. Because he should get jail time and a stiff, stiff, stiff fine. Because if he can pay $50,000 for fun to kill a poor innocent lion that was protected, then he has money to spend. So, you know, there's people in this world who are starving, children who don't have food, and you're paying $50,000 to kill a lion. You're you're a horrible, horrible individual. You're a ter terrible human being. You're like scum. You are scum, Walter Palmer. You are scum. Um, you, you're an evil, evil man. That's not fun. And your character, he's trying to play the innocent card that he had no idea that Cecil was protected. I believe he is lying. He is a sketchy, shady individual. His character is not clean because in 2006 he has a felony record of killing a black bear that was illegal. So, you know, he knows about this. He just pays things off or just does as he wishes, and this is wrong. You need to be punished, Walter. Um, I really hope that you're made the example of so other people will see that. <laughs> it will deter them from doing what you're you're doing. Animals don't have a voice. We need to be the voice for them. We need to speak out and stop this. Um, I'm outraged. You know, even though Cecil was protected, and he was even like um, apparently he had a little tracking device on him. So imagine that. There are other lions out there who are not protected. So worse things happen, and this poor thing died a horrible death. You know, I'm sorry. I hope Cecil is in a better place right now and he's at peace. It was awful. And this Walter Palmer took pictures of the carcass next to the carcass, the beheaded carcass, as if it were a trophy. And it was so wonderful for him to do that. This is terrible. My view is he needs to be the example to deter other people from doing this. He has to pay a stiff, stiff fine and do some jail time. They should even make him go back to Zimbabwe and sit in a jail in there for a while to reflect on what he did. So that's my view on that. Um, I think people who do that are horrible. I think, you know, there are good people in this world. I'm really happy that social media is getting this story out there so we see and we can help and they, there can be a difference in this world. You know, all we need to do is send love and speak and have our voice and protect and care. Creatures of this, God's creatures are the most amazing things. Human beings shouldn't be able to kill them. I don't believe in hunting. I don't think that's a sport. I think it's awful. You know, in order to survive, to eat meat is one thing, but to kill it and to kill a lion for no reason because you know, you want to, is not cool. And that should be stopped. So this is my view on it. I really hope Mr. Walter Palmer gets what's coming to him. Karma is a huge, huge thing in this world, and he will get it. But, you know, he deserves to be punished. Um, that's it. Uh, that's my view on it. I hope you comment below. Um, I hope you speak out. You you say your, your voice because... All of our voices should be heard, and that's how we make a difference. So that's it. Thank you for watching my video. I appreciate it. Um, comment below. Let me know what's up. I send out all good vibes and love to all the good people of the world. I thank you for watching, and we all send love to Cecil. We hope he's in a better place now. Thank you. Thank you.